Good afternoon, Stu Gage here. Welcome to week six. Hope all of you had a great week five. Hope you had a nice Memorial Day. We're able to spend some time with your friends and loved ones and remember those that have passed on. And uh, just wanted to welcome you again to week six. It's a great week. We're going to have a lot of fun this week. We're going to do a lot of cool stuff. I hope that most of you, if not all of you, are still with me. I know that probably some have dropped by the wayside, but for those that are still with me, we got some great things going and we're going to continue to do so. I want to tell you guys something because I am the first one to admit when I make a mistake. I made a mistake yesterday. I weighed in and I realized that in five weeks I've lost 34 pounds, which is good. I'm very happy with that. But I decided, okay, you know what? I think I'll let myself have a cheat meal. So last night I had some pizza and ice cream and I'll tell you what, I didn't sleep worth anything last night. My stomach was bloated and I felt gross and disgusting. It made me realize that before I started this Operation Fat Be Gone, that's the way I felt every night. No wonder I was tired all the time. I could never sleep because my stomach was bloated. I felt horrible. It was just, it was, a, it was an awful feeling, but you know what? It was a good thing because it made me remember what I used to do to myself on a daily basis and make me not want to do it again. Now, there are several different kinds of people that are in this journey with us. You know, we're, we're all in different, various different categories. We have those that are just absolute hardcore, we're on this, we're going all out, all the time, every day, all the time. Then there's some that are kind of sporadic, you know, some days they do good, some days not so good. And then we have another group, what I call the elevator people. One week they're just hardcore on it, and next week completely blow it, you know, their weight's up and down, up and down. And then there's, there's some that... They eat healthy every now and again, but they don't really have a plan and not really sure what the next day is going to hold. And you know what? Wherever you are on that chart, that's up to you. If you don't like where you're at on there and you want to change, you can do it, but only you can do it. Now, those of you that know me, know me as pretty much a big cuddly teddy bear. There's a few of you out there that have either played football with me in the past or see me play football and realize that I do have the ability to go from teddy bear to grizzly bear. And I don't want to have to do that with you, but I will. Okay? Now, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about PMS. You guys know what PMS is? Not that PMS. It's a different one. It's much worse. The PMS that I'm talking about is a private motivational seminar. And if that is what you need to get motivated, I will be more than happy to come in and out operate it for you. And I will snap into a Slim Jim. Let me tell you. You think Jillian Michaels on Biggest Loser is tough? Well, let me tell you. I had her for breakfast this morning with my Rice Krispies. Let me just tell you. She got a first-hand account of what it means to snap, crackle, and pop. Hear me? I can do that. I can be that guy. So if that's what you need to get you motivated, and let Big Stu know because I'll be on my way over shortly. But I don't have to do that. I would like for everybody to enjoy this journey and I would like for you to, to look beyond the next few weeks and realize where you can go from here and the things that you can accomplish to get there. Now, like I said, this is week six. We are in day 37. So those who have been sticking to it hardcore are probably on this thing pretty good. And I'm not saying you can't ever have a cheat day. Everybody needs a cheat day here and again. I understand that. And that's fine. It's just a matter of getting back on the horse and doing what you're supposed to do. I believe in you. You just got to believe in yourself. Now, I want all of you to go out this week and really tear it up, kick some tail. God bless you and have a great week six. Seriously though, I will come over to your house and I will take a bite out of you. I will break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Hear me?